I'm going to ask Lisa Ko to start by um, introducing the program at the University of Tokyo. Yeah. Now I'd like to explain about the University of Tokyo first and then like to introduce our brand new summer program. Utopia was founded in 1877 and is the oldest, largest, best funded national university in Japan. And we pride ourselves as a, one of the top leading institutions in Asia. We are a comprehensive university with about 28,000 students half of whom are graduate students, and 10,000 faculty and staff members. Today, I want to introduce Utokyo Global Unit Courses. This is inaugurated in the summer of this year, 2021, as a part of our effort to offer students of our partner institutions the experience of studying at the University of Tokyo through online. So please see the introductory video of the program. Welcome to the University of Tokyo's Global Unit Courses. Inaugurated in the summer of 2021, Global Unit Courses is a short-term intensive summer courses taught in English by leading scholars of the University of Tokyo. Each course comes with a Global Unit Certificate and is taught entirely online, either synchronously or non-synchronously. Each course is for a fee, but is for a very reasonable price. We believe this is the best way to experience the University of Tokyo classes from outside of Japan this summer amidst this global pandemic. Applicants must be current or former full-time undergraduate or graduate students of the following universities. A member of the University of Tokyo's University Alliance groups such as ERU or AUA, or University of Tokyo's partner universities. All global unit courses are taught entirely in English, except for Japanese language, and no knowledge of Japanese language is required. The expected minimum proficiency level is that of TOEFL IBT90 or IELTS 6.5. Certificate of English Language Skills is not required. Application is currently open and will close on May 10th at 10 a.m. Japan Standard Time. The results will be announced in mid-May, the payment deadline is late May, and the program begins in mid-June and runs till early August, depending on the course. For one unit course, the program fee is 50,000 Japanese yen, which is about 460 US dollars. For a half a unit course, it's 25,000 Japanese yen, which is about 230 US dollars. For 2021, we have five main courses. Professor Kaori Hayashi will be teaching a course called The Media in Japan and the World, Professor Kentaro Matsubara will be teaching Law in Transnational East Asia. Professor Eugene Yaguchi will be teaching Writings about Japan, Analyzing Cultural Representations from Orientalism to Artificial Intelligence. Professor Yukari Ito will be teaching Group Theory and Its Applications, Introduction to Beautiful Modern Mathematics. And finally, Professor Shotsuji will be teaching Early Language Acquisition, how human infants learn language within their social environment. Additionally, we have Japanese language courses, and these must be taken together with the main courses. We have Survival Japanese for Beginners, Step Up Japanese for Upper Beginners, Introduction to Academic Presentation in Japanese, which is an intermediate level course, and Tips on Reading Japanese Kanji for Kanji background students which is an intermediate to advanced level course. Students will be rigorously assessed and be given global units based on their performance and the number of class hours. Upon completion of the course, a global unit certificate 
which may be used to calculate credits for transfer to your home institution, will be issued by the University of Tokyo. This is our course schedule. Further detailed information is available on our website. For writings about Japan, the course is offered non-synchronously, that is, on demand. However, in order to ensure more personal interaction among the students and also with the professor, there will be separate online information session. For more information, please visit our website. You can access our website through this QR code as well. We hope to see you virtually this summer at the University of Tokyo. See you and thank you very much. Yeah, as it was mentioned, you can find more detailed information from our website. And I tried to share one slide. Um, the top one is the URL for overseas students. And some students are joining this event from some Utopia students are joining this event. So I tried to mention about mention about the course for U Tokyo students. U Tokyo GUC is also open to the University of Tokyo students who wish to have a chance to study in a global environment. However, the application schedule and the procedure are different from the students from overseas. So please visit Go Global website for more information. And if you have any questions, please send us email or join the Zoom information session, which is led by Professor Yaguchi, who will be teaching one of the GUC courses. The schedule of the information session is written on the website of the top page. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, sorry for the confusion, but thank you very much. Uh, we will continue with the um, University of Hong Kong. Um, so Maggie, can I ask you to? Yes, so I'm going to share my presentation slides. Give me a second. Okay, okay. Uh, Good afternoon, uh, welcome to this online event, uh, everybody. And I'm so excited to know that a lot of you would be interested to know more about Hong Kong Youth Summit Institute. So first of all, um, who are we? So Hong Kong Youth Summit Institute was established in 2015. So we offer a variety of inspiring in interactive programs for students. And we've been around for almost about six years now. So in the past six years, we have received a total of more than 6,000 students from over 500 institutions from all over the world. So some of you might want to know why would you want to spend the summer with HKU? Well, there are several um, reasons. First of all, um, Hong Kong U is the oldest university in Hong Kong. And Hong Kong U is also a comprehensive university as well that has 10 different faculties. So we've been ranked number one best university in Hong Kong and also 22nd best university in the world by the QS World University Rankings in 2021. So since we have had, uh, we have received more than six thousand students in the six in the past six years. Um, our student body is very diverse. They are actually coming from forty three different locations from around the world. So you know, when you come to Hong Kong, you to join our summer online programs. Not only that, you will get the chance to mingle with Hong Kong U students, but also other students from different cultural background. Now, in this summer, we will offer about um, 30 different um, online programs for undergraduate students. So, um, but I'm not going to uh, go into details to every single one of them. So I will mainly focus uh, on four of our flagship programs to you. The first program that I would like to talk to you about is the Business Leaders for a Changing World. This is a two weeks program, a non-credit 
program. Uh, it was start in mid July. So this program is um, uh, the, the students will be asked to take different roles and learn how to make a real world impact. So by understanding how to plan and execute strategy, uh, you will create a narrative and monitor, measure and synchronize objectives. Students will gain insight into the thought process and behind strategy as a foundation of leadership. Secondly, uh, I would like to uh, introduce this program, which is one of my favorite programs um, that is called the Virtual World Real Bodies. This is a three weeks program with six Hong Kong U credits starting from mid July. So by joining this program, you will get the chance to uh, study together with house, uh, Hong Kong U students. So this is a program jointly conducted by the Department of Industrial Engineering Common Core Office and also Summit Institute. So um, students explore the possibilities of creating virtual worlds and communities. Now, why I think this is very interesting is because this um, uh, allows students to use their imagination. And um, I can see that someone want to make a screen. Um, to have that different imagination. Last year, uh, students were asked to do a project to recreate a virtual scenes of maybe a place or just a concept they know of. So one group of students, they made the project to recreate hell. <laughs> now, I'm sure that none of us has experienced hell, but by their imaginations, they recreated a, a hell, a virtual version of hell, how hell should feel, how hell should feel like, so that this one is really interesting. So we also have this uh, KOLs in creative industries. Uh, it is two weeks non-credit bearing program starting from late July. So this will um, give you a general introduction of the KOL business model within a global context, but also with the emphasis on the KOL economics in the greater China region. So in this program, uh, some of the really famous um, uh, KOL in the region will be invited to share the experience with the students as well. Last but not least, um, I would like to introduce this Beyond the Concrete Jungle Exploring Nature and Biodiversity program to you. Um, this is a one week program taking place um, by the end of July. So this program is so co-organized by the Long Fushan Environmental Education Center. So this online program is designed to help students to acquire a comprehensive understanding of nature and sustainability in Hong Kong. Now I will share with you a little bit more about the program information. So we have, um, as you know by now, that we have uh, credit bearing programs and also some non-credit programs. They range from one week to three weeks depending on the nature of the program. So we have four different session days starting from late July, uh, late June, all the way to beginning of August. Last but not least, our enrollment uh, period is now open. So our application deadline will be on the 31st of May. So if you would be interested, um, feel free to um, you could uh, scan the QR code here or feel free to go to our website www.hku.hk slash summer. So we do have two different types of discounts um, that are available to different group of students. So if your, um, if your institution is one of the Hong Kong exchange partner, you'll be entitled to a 10% discount. And if you have previously joined our programs before, uh, we do offer a 20% discount on the program fee. So here is the end of my presentation. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Maggie. Um, all right, so let's move on to uh, Seoul National University, Jayan. Thank you. I will share my slides. 
Thank you. So good afternoon, everyone. Once again, I am very glad to see all of you here. And I feel so honored to present an information session on Seoul National University's 2021 online international summer program, which is the main motto of study together with SNU students. Before I start, I just wanted to inform you that I will share the slides and information on our website. So I hope you just sit back, relax, and enjoy watching. Okay, so this summer, uh, we present our first online international summer program for both SNU and overseas university students. In the past years, SNU summer courses and activities have been mainly targeted to international students who want to experience what it is like to study in Korea during the summertime, and our curriculum has been fitted to meet the demand. This year, our program features the following changes. So um, both SNU, uh, sorry, SNU ISP returns fully online um, here and we allow easy access and flexibility. And both SNU and overseas university students are welcome to join 24 academic courses from various disciplines and levels. And here we aim for high quality education. Outside of courses, a virtual student exchange activities between SNU and international students will be arranged. And here we hope for um, further connection and interaction in this challenging time for the world. For each feature, I will walk you through the details. So to facilitate the online courses, um, each course will be assigned with an online classroom through SNU's e-learning system called ETL. It has a mobile application as well that will allow easy access from wherever you are. Instructors will post access links to Zoom classes or upload video lectures here and quizzes and assignment requests can be made as well. For international students, we will offer an orientation before the program starts so that you can uh, familiarize yourself with the system. But if you wanna check what it is like beforehand, check our YouTube instruction, which is available on our summer website. To present high quality course curriculum that works for students with different backgrounds and levels, um, along with 10 most popular elective courses from our traditional summer offerings, we newly offer 14 regular advanced level major courses that are normally part of SNU's regular semester curriculum. So all 24 courses are taught in English and open to both SNU and international students. And all courses carry three Korean credits. And unless otherwise stated, courses are for undergraduate students, but there are also graduate level courses and undergraduates can take graduate courses and vice versa. For all courses, SNU students will gain regular credits toward the degree requirement and um, non-SNU international students must check the credit transferability with their home university in advance. And um, it, we will help you with the process if requested. Now I will show you what our course offerings look like. So first of all, um, these 10 elective courses are selected from our traditional summer program offerings. These are um, closely related to Korean and East Asian studies and will be taught by SNU's full-time professors who are experts in the area. All courses are designed for undergraduate students and we, we actually recommend these to freshmen to junior students, but anyone who's interested in Korean um, studies is welcome to join as well. Course timetable and syllabus are available on our summer website. And there will be 14 major courses that will be taught by SNU's guest faculty members comprising internationally renowned scholars from overseas universities. These are somewhat more advanced than the previous ones. And we recommend these to undergraduate junior to senior students and postgraduate students. So for these 14 major courses, course details are currently being updated and the complete course information will be available in the first week of May through our summer website. 
In sum, um, all these 24 courses are open to SMU and overseas university students with no particular restrictions. Then um, students are advised to shop through the courses, read the course information, examine their own eligibility, and check the credit transfer policy with the home university. Outside the classroom, we will set up virtual exchange activities for all students. Body matches, language exchange will be definitely included with various group events. Our focus is that we make this really casual and accessible to everyone like we normally do in face-to-face -face environments. And we, and we would like to make this customized to this year's student population. Last but not least, um, for this year's online ISP, we offer discounted tuition for overseas international students. There are scholarship opportunities as well. So to be more precise, um, for you, Tokyo and um, the University of Hong Kong and other SNU student exchange partners, um, we offer 10% reduced tuition. And if applicants are majoring in Korean studies or East Asian studies, then they will be eligible for additional tuition reduction. So if you feel uncertain about the pricing, please feel free to contact us to find out about your personal scholarship opportunities. The online application for overseas university students is open until May 28 on our website. Students who are currently attending an overseas university are eligible and there is no particular GPA or language requirement. The course registration is executed on a first come first serve basis for the limited number of seats and SNU students will join the registration from May 13. So we recommend international students to submit an application by mid-May to secure your courses. Below, you can see the program dates. So um, for SNU students who may um, listen to this um, presentation, course registration procedures are um, a little different and there will be a separate course registration guideline available in the first week of May. So any questions, any concerns and any requests will be welcome. Just email us through summer at snu.ac.kr and for the latest updates, check our website and follow our Instagram. Thank you for listening and we will look forward to having you join us this summer. Okay, thank you very much, Jan. Um, so you just heard um, explanations of three very attractive summer programs, I think. Um, I think one, one thing that's really important is that if you have any questions, you can contact each school, each summer program, and they will respond to your questions, I'm, I'm sure very uh, efficiently and very kindly. So even if your uh, questions cannot be addressed today, you can write them directly, okay? Um, it seems like we, we, we're getting quite a few number of questions and uh, I, I'm looking over them and it seems like many of the questions are about the fields, the kind of subjects available at the summer school. I think the best way if, is for you to look at the webpage and, and, and check the available courses um, uh, of each program. But it seems like quite a few number of students are interested in engineering field of which the University of Tokyo unfortunately does not offer. But I noticed that Seoul National offers engineering courses and uh, I don't know whether Hong Kong does as well. Do you, Maggie, do you wanna? Yeah, thank you. Um, we actually do have some courses uh, from uh, from Faculty of Engineering. Um, actually, earlier on, uh, one of the virtual world real bodies, the programs that I actually introduced, um, that was actually launched by Department of Industrial Engineering. So that would be one. Um, I think that is pretty much the only one because actually Faculty of Engineering, we, we, they, they do have summer courses, but they're mainly for secondary school students. So for UG, we do have one that was the one that I just sort of mentioned. How about computer science? Come. 
uh, again, computer science, we have uh, some courses available, but for secondary school students as well. Mm-hmm. Um, because actually we offer uh, all together this coming summer, actually uh, around 40 to 50 programs. Um, and we do have uh, so some programs for UG students and some for secondary okay. school students. JN, do you want to sort of follow up on that point on engineering or computer science or science related courses? Yes, um, so um, our summer program um, has six engineering courses. And unfortunately, we do not have a computer science engineering course, but we do have an undergraduate level architecture engineering course and two civil and um, environmental engineering courses, one from industrial engineering field, which can be also related to the business administration as well and the other two from mechanical and aerospace engineering. So um, actually like our uh, College of Engineering, they're uh, doing some final touches on the course syllabus and um, we do not have the final course syllabus on our website yet, but by the next week, uh, we will be able to upload like all the complete programs. So if students who wish to um, like get updates about the engineering courses, just leave an email to us and we will get you the updates uh, when it's available. Great, thank you. So more information coming. Uh, at the University of Tokyo, uh, we have one science related, well, two actually science related courses, right, Misako? Mm-hmm. One is mathematic course, which the name is group theory and its applications. It's actually uh, two beautiful modern mathematics. That is very interesting subject. It seems difficult, but Interesting. So if you're interested in that, please join it. And the other one is early language acquisition. Yeah, that yeah. is also very interesting. How human infants learn language within their social environment. Yeah. Okay, great, thank you. Um, and also there's a question about eligibility. Uh, I think uh, all of us, well, at, at the University of Tokyo, we assume that students to be either um, undergraduate students or graduate students or former <laughs> undergraduate students or uh, uh, um, graduate students. But I think there are there's a question about a foundation year student, which I guess is kind of a bridge between secondary school and undergraduate. Do you accept such students at um, Hong Kong or Seoul National? How about the eligibility? Um. We only accept students who are currently attending a university, like regardless regardless of the, the degree program, like, I mean, either um, undergraduate or graduate, but for the foundation level school, uh, you're not really, I'm, pers- I'm actually not really sure about the concept, but um, if you can send an email, then we will check the um, rules and policy with the other office and get back to you personally. Yeah, okay, good. Maggie? Yeah. Very similar to Hong Kong New Summer Institute as well. Our uh, general uh, eligibility is undergraduate students, graduate students, or or former undergraduate students. Uh, But for foundation year, um, I think it depends on that program. Mm -hmm. So I think they could, uh, students could refer to our website and look at which program that they are interested in. If they're really interested, they could uh, email their uh, that our email address and we could uh, look into details. Okay, great. Uh, maybe I can uh, do one more question. There are quite a few questions about scholarship uh, opportunities. Um, does anyone want to talk about scholarship opportunities? I know you mentioned them um, in, in your presentation, but any additional information about scholarships? Um, so just briefly saying we offer 10% discounted tuition to all SNU's exchange partners and the, I think most of, like I see most of the students here are SNU's partners as well, so they will be eligible for 10% discount and if they are majoring in Korean studies or East Asian studies, they are like eligible for additional discount and if students are uncertain, I think it is the, the, the best way is to contact, contact us directly, then we will, you know, figure out what can be provided and get back to that. Okay, good. Maggie, do you have any further things to say? 
Yeah, well, uh, as mentioned, uh, we do have a quite a ten percent discount for all Hong Kong U Exchange Partner Institution students, and actually this year we have a new discount that is the twenty percent discount off uh, for our Hong Kong U Summer Institute alumni. So that one is quite a new one. So if you have previously joined us before in the previous summers, you could still you know, apply again, you're welcome. And then as soon as you fill out our application form, our system will be able to recognize you. Okay, great. Um, unfortunately, we do not offer any scholarships, but I, I realize, I realize, if I may, uh, I think our our our, co our 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 cost is probably the lowest of all the, all the schools. So maybe it will it will come to just about even. Okay. Um, finally, I, our time is almost up, but uh, there's this question: How busy students will be during the summer program? Which is a very interesting question. How busy? It, it really depends, you know, <laughs> by um, what course, what kind of courses you choose, or like how many courses you choose. But like generally, we um, we are trying to make it very, um, I cannot say relaxing, but it's like enjoyable. So yeah, but it really depends. Just check our course syllabus and you know, like see how challenging it will be. Okay, Maggie, do you have anything to say? Yeah, I totally agree with Joyeon because I think it depends on the courses, but also I think it depends on the, the, the person as well, right? Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, but we do have classes like every day, like mm -hmm. for two weeks, for one week. So um, there will be some contact hours every day, but um, if you are talking about outside the classes, how much time that you're going to invest, then it would be, um, you know, I, I think it depends. Yeah, Niseko, do you have any thoughts on this? Our course is basically one week intensive course, so 90 minutes plus 180 minutes per day and one week, five days. The mathematics course is 90 minutes per day and 10 days. So, yeah, that's, it depends on the student. Yeah. Okay. So as a professor, let me tell you this. <laughs> a big secret to all of you. We love it when students are busy. Okay. <laughs> we want to make sure that the students are busy when they're taking courses. We don't like it when the students feel relaxed and, and, and bored during uh, class session. So I think all the professors who are going to be teaching summer courses, whether at Hong Kong or Seoul National or Tokyo, we will make sure that you are engaged and you have things to do and you will not be bored. And sometimes you feel like a bit overwhelmed, but at the end of the day, or at the end of the class, you feel like, oh man, I did the work and I learned, I got the money's worth. Okay, that's what we want to do. So if you if we're looking for easy class, I don't go, I'm not going to suggest Hong Kong or Seoul or Tokyo. But if you're <laughs> if you're looking for a challenging and rewarding experience, uh, I suggest Hong Kong, Seoul National and the University of Tokyo. OK, so <laughs> thank you for joining. Uh, it's six o'clock, so we will close here. And uh, again, if you have any questions to any of the three schools, you can always email them and they will respond to your inquiries. Thank you again. And we hope to see you uh, uh, in Hong Kong, Seoul, or Tokyo, or all three locations this summer or next summer. Okay, thank you very much. And thank you to Maggie and Jayon. Thank, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.